What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This time, we are going to do some Lorwyn drafting. We've been waiting in this queue for about 12 minutes now for it to fire, so hopefully there is not too long of a delay between the 7th and the 8th, but uh, there could be. Any chance of a Mike B appearance? Zero chance. Mike is at work. The draft format is great. Lorwyn is fantastic for drafting. Timber Protector. Other tree folks get one one, and they be and forest entry folks gain indestructible. That guy's actually very good. Uh, Hunter of Eye Blights is also pretty good. Knight of Metagrain, pretty good. Nameless Inversion is great. Fertile Ground is good. Well, Mike could get fired and come over. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He could come home and uh, not have a job. Smoke Breeder also pretty good. I think I'd rather just go with a Timber Protector. Or Nameless Inversion. Nameless Inversion is just very good. But I think Timber Protector is pretty strong. And um, I do like some Tree Folk. Probably Leaf Gilder here. Mossor Bridge is nice because actually it's not terribly hard to have power 10 or greater on the board. But I think if we're going to go with one of the two two mana ramp spells, I think we're just going to go with the one that actually is an elf. So. Changeling Titan is pretty good. 7-7 seven, seven, that just champions the guy is pretty decent. Um, there's no tree folk here, so I'm not really uh, not really pressed into that. I think it's probably Changeling Titan. It keeps us in green, which is nice. This is also three packs in a row with fertile grounds in them. Kid Cabbage, welcome back. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Thank you. Mana War Elves. That's a great name. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the resub. Is Shapeshifter a sandwich? You know, I think so. Oh, Guardian of Cloverdell. That guy is expensive and also kind of puts us in white. No, it doesn't. There was, there is a, a giant tree folk that puts some white. This makes three one ones too. This is actually, pretty, pretty humongoid. I don't think I think it's expensive, but I also don't think there's very much else in this pack that I care about. Could take black poplar shaman, but like, this is an uncommon. I'll just take the uncommon. I think it's expensive, but we we're green, so if any of those fertile grounds come back, it's nice. I read milk broth in the chat as Mike broth. And uh, it was significantly more awkward. <clears throat> uh, this is just plus two, plus two, and if you win the clash, it gets an additional plus two, plus two, so not really that great. Warren Pilferers is nice because it's literally just a uh, grave digger. Fathom Troll is nice because you get to you get to draw three at the very least. Don't care about you. I think we're probably just gonna take pilfers. The rare is really strong, but the unfortunately green black is not a good tree folk or elf uh, combination, which we are kind of in. Switch library for a goblin. Don't care about that. 
when this when this two two for two dies you discard a card yeah that's a good deal this pack is actually pretty bad I mean, this guy can still find Guardian or Warren Pilfers, which is not terrible. I don't feel like we're going to use the Vivid Lane out of two-color deck. I could see taking the, the Kithkin Greatheart and maybe being Giants, but I'm just going to take this guy because it can find both this and the Changeling Titan, which are both not terrible. <clears throat> At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice this permanent attach another line Blight to a creature or land you control. So I basically put this on their land, and then their permanent has... At the beginning of your end step, sack this and attach it to a creature land. So it just keeps eating all of their things one by one. I remember this card being pretty slow, but it also might be decent. Yeah, this is Phantom. Which is correct. I don't think anyone really cares about a bunch of random Lorwyn cards. I want to take the Nettlevine Blight. <clears throat> Just being able to put on like any creature, it's just it's kind of like it's kind of like removal. Like it, it gives them a turn, right? So like you put it on their biggest creature, they have till the end of their turn, and then they sacrifice it. Uh, Guildleaf Guild Leaf Seer is actually okay. I don't see us playing either of these when we already have Guardian of Cloverdale. Fertile Ground did come back, so did Makeshift Mannequin. That's pretty interesting. If like, if we end up losing the Guardian or it goes to the Graveyard, we can actually just reanimate it. I imagine we can get another Fertile Ground. I kind of just like having Mannequin, because Mannequin on War and Pilferers is also pretty nice. <clears throat> and that's what we were looking for. I think Moonglow Winner is actually the pick here, though. This card's very strong. Plus, with the amount of Fertile Grounds and Leaf Guilders that are in this set, I'm pretty much okay with just passing some. I wouldn't even be surprised if a third one came in this pack, so. And there we go. All right. <laughs> That's... Oh, man. Watch for signals. Get rewarded. And the Black Poplar Shaman came back, which is nice. Uh, we can just take Pump Spell or Target Dragon's Death Touch Draw Card. This is just Blade Brand, right? Yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. And, wow, not a land. Okay. I accept. Thoughtseize. Man. Marsh Flitter is pretty sick, though. Nameless Inversion, also pretty sick. Oh, man. Marsh Flitter or Nameless Inversion? I think it's actually Marsh Flitter here. There is that yeah, there's that one Lorwyn card that's worth money. <clears throat> it's either this or this. I'm pretty sure it's Marsh Flitter. Marsh Flitter is three three one ones for four, one of which is flying, and you can sack a goblin. I mean you tutor you can tutor nameless, but like it goes to the top of your library, so you're not like tutoring a a removal spell. I really like Marsh Flitter. I think I'm just going to take the Marsh Flitter. Oh, Thorn Tooth Witch is nice. Uh, whenever you cast a Tree Folk spell, you may have target creature get plus three, negative three until end of turn. This is a Nameless Inversion on a stick. And if you have a Nameless Inversion, it triggers twice because the Nameless Inversion is a Tree Folk spell. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pickup. Uh, Hornet Harasser, also not bad. It's a 2 tier that when it dies, it gives negative two, negative two to a creature, so we can trade with four, four toughness guys. Don't care about... Oh, actually, Immaculate Magistrate is pretty insane. I actually didn't even see the Magistrate. This card is busted. Put a 1-1 counter on target creature, reach elf you control, so it's always going to put 1 on. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, this card's not real. Like, if you have 2 elves or 3 elves, like, it's just not beatable. Like, it's... The card's unbelievable. Um, Mornwolk is okay. I think it's just Hornet Harasser here.
Yeah, magistrate. Actually, magistrate's good when this is your only elf because it still makes combat. It's like think of Timberwatch elf and how good that is. This is just a better Timberwatch elf, and it's a two-two instead of a one-one. Tap out for what? What's going on? Glad you can catch a stream. Our deck's actually looking pretty solid. If we can catch one nameless inversion, I'll be pretty grateful for it. Let's Alana Huntmaster. How many elves do we actually have that are good? One, I think we have just like three. Actually, no, we were four. So, hmm. I think we have a lot of four drops. It's probably just Bogger Loggers. Maybe. We don't actually have many elf, uh, many goblin synergies. We just happen to have two goblins. I think I just want the list on a hunt master because I can easily see cutting like Hornet Harasser or like Bogart Har Harbinger if we end up getting more got more elves. Moon Glove Extract is actually fine. I like it better than Hand Servant, though Hand Servant is pretty good in the um, in a deck with any number of giants or shapeshifters because it just gets like a 3 3 or a 4 4. I'm just going to take the Moon Glove Extract though. Lignify is nice. I can see taking a Lignify here. Yeah, let's take Lignify. This is also a Tree Folk, <clears throat> a Tree Folk card, so it triggers Thorn Tooth Witch. Don't care about any of these cards. Although Root Grapple is actually decent um, when you have a bunch of tree folks because it just destroys any permanent, any non-creature permanent. You can get their land, you can get their... Like, this is actually used... Uh, I remember this being used against me when I had Planeswalker in play, and they would just get to draw a card from it. So it's not... I don't know if it's main deckable, but it is nice because it kills artifacts, enchantments, or uh, anything else, really. Um... Hunt down, don't care about hunt down. Nas Buffoon is nice to have on the sideboard. I don't think we're gonna play Thieving Sprite. None of these cards are super exciting. Excel an elf card. It is an elf though, so it does trigger the Lissal on a Hunt Master, and it's probably better than anything else, so. It's also a two drop. Harasser. That's fine. I'm not sure if we're even gonna play the first one, just because our four drop slot is a little hard, but like it's nice being able to sacrifice Marsh Flitter <clears throat> to or uh sacrifice Hornet Harasser to Marsh Flitter, pump it, and then kill something. Uh none of these cards are exciting. Yeah, having like Nath's Buffoon and Warren Scourge Elf in the sideboard are both pretty nice because they uh they're kind of similar. They're just two nice little sideboard options. <clears throat> Can someone inform what is the, the latent state of Specimen Mike? <laughs> what does that mean? I'll take this guy, sure. Oh, a horde of notions. 100% probably taking Briarhorn here. This pack's not super exciting.
yeah, Briarhorn's pretty um, pretty OP. Uh, being able to put a 3-3 on the board and blow someone out in combat is pretty nuts. Uh, did my subscription come through? I see it. I thoroughly enjoy your content. I was watching that double season event and figured out. Thank you so much, man. DM, Harnack, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I did not see it pop up, but I did see that you had a sub badge. So let me actually make sure those are... <clears throat> Eyeblight's ending. Yeah, that's probably the pick here. <laughs> I actually think Ash Strider is good. You can get a lot of incremental life, but I think Eyeblight's ending is just too good. Plus, it's also an elf spell, so it triggers less than a hunt master. We were just talking about the Dauntless Dower Bark. Wow, that's pretty gas. Not We didn't open it, but we did get it. And this is actually if Seed Guide Ash came back, that'd be great. Seed Guide, Seed Guide Ash is a 4 4 for 5 that when it dies. You can search for up to three forests and put them on the battlefield tap, which is pretty nuts. But Dauntless Tower Bark is really strong. Yeah, we're going to take Dauntless Tower Bark here. All of our four drops are pretty playable here. No beats. 15 hour Tron stream confirmed. I think so. Get ready for the salt. No. No. Also, I have no idea what these the uh, those little emoji characters are, but Sadly, Lauren was during my two-year break for MTG, but now you're back and you can appreciate it in all its glory. I do like Crown Oak, uh, Cloud Crown Oak, because it's a nice 3-4 for 4 with Trample. It's also a Tree Folk. I think we're going to take it, even though our 4-drop is a little clogged here. I mostly watch your YouTube stuff because I watch everything and I don't like jumping into your vids halfway through. I appreciate that. I can get that. I can get behind that. Squeaking pie sneak. Is it just a cost to reveal a goblin from your hand or pay three? We're probably never going to be able to reveal, reveal a goblin. We can probably just take the pump spell. Heal the scars is not great, and neither is Boggard Birthright. I'm just going to take Fistful. Hey, another bog ash strider. Although, uh, God, I really want another like leaf gilder. I really don't want another four drop in this deck. I don't think it's any of these other cards though. I think it's just the bog ash strider. It's nice to have. I really don't care about boggard harbinger. Oh, Treefold Carbinger seems good. So does Skeletal Changeling, actually. It just triggers all of our things. It triggers Huntmaster. It triggers uh, Thorntooth Witch. If this was card advantage, I'd probably take it. I just don't think it's that great. Actually, we can probably take out the, the, crowd clown oak. the Cloud Crown Oak. Yeah, we'll just take this guy, sure. Third attacking creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. This is actually pretty good. This guy's actually pretty good for combats. I think that's probably better than Scarred Vine Breeder, even though we're not Kithkin or Soldiers. And there's no Soldiers, so. Uh, whenever you clash and win, you may draw a card. No. Sacrifice. Yeah, I'll just take the other. 
the other elf. Um, I want to take the destroy and enchantment card because maybe it's just useful. Take a loggers actually. Loggers is pretty good. Oh, no, wow, the Lignify came back. That's impressive. So we need to make one cut. It might actually be Kithkin Daggerdale. Is that better than Fistful of Force? Maybe, actually. <laughs> Can you hear him? He's so loud. Yeah, I'll cut the Fistful of Force. I think every the creature is better. <clears throat> 7, 10. Oh, I'm going to go 8, 9. I just don't like having that much of a discrepancy. Alright, we'll see what this deck can do. He's so loud. Can you guys hear him? You definitely can hear him, right? In all his loud glory. He's really the hero we need. You're gonna join the match and then you're not even gonna show up for it. Thank oh, you. I didn't know I didn't have to cancel it. T Jesse, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, my dude. Hey, didn't fail this time. Nicely done. Way to go, Magic Online. Um, eh, this is I'm reluctant to keep this, but I will. We're playing Mr. Jekyll. Oh, if it is an elk tears, Matt, did you just call me? I just got a call from New York that didn't go through. So I was going to check my phone and see what it was. I don't think they left a message, though. I'll find out. They did not. That's so unlike them. Oh, wow. I think we're fertile grounding here. Well, mostly because we can't do anything else. So that was actually pretty good. <clears throat> So, okay, you have to let me know if that's a meme you're doing, uh, because of because of pernicious dude, or if that's actually. Uh, or if that's actually how you feel. Because I don't want to actually say your name if you really have a problem with that.
It's gonna be so bad. They're gonna broken ambitions this or bounce this guy or some bullshit. They did not. <clears throat> Interesting. I wonder if they're actually in our pod and this is our and this is the Mossware bridge that we opened. So I'm actually tempted to play Thorntooth Witch. Uh, ahead of uh, Dauntless Tower Bark here for obvious reasons. Uh, also, Nettlevine Blood on this board could be pretty good. Like, we just actually get to kill one of their lands. Presumably, the Moth Moss is it on creatures you control. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Because, like, um,. The blue land, I forgot what that thing is called. Uh, how did I forget this? Because that one specifically is like... Hmm. No, that's not going to work. We can actually just use this. Shell Duck Isle. Yeah, Shell Duck Isle is each, each each player. Like so if a library has um 20 or cards, 20 or <laughs> 20 cards or less. Someone misses cube every day, dude. Every day. I'm really sad that there's not going to be a cube up this week for the for the 15 hour stream. Well, this is eight power, so that's good. So this guy's gonna be a six six. I don't foresee them playing many goblins here, so I'll just play the four drop. <clears throat> well, I guess we're killing this. Actually, we could just kill. We could. We could actually kill this. We can play lignify on this guy. I kind of like that. And that gives us some pretty good attacks here as well. What's even happening right now? Will you please say hi very loudly to my best friend Jane J? She doesn't believe I'm interacting with a live stream right now. Please and thank you. Jane J, please don't leave just because I didn't say hi quickly enough. You have to come back because Elk Tears needs you. Uh, I can take this guy out. I'm bringing Boggart Loggers in. Being able to kill one of their 
their tree folk or their forests is pretty decent. We meet again for the fairest of times. I see you're back to your tree roots. You're still missing a mic. You must remember to find and consume one before you liquefy. <laughs> oh, God. That is a concern of mine. I am afraid of liquefying due to a lack of mic consumption. I'll keep this hand. Oh, I didn't see the eye. I really can't. I never actually know if you're just trolling me. Well, Jane G. I apologize if I uh, if I mispronounced your your last name there, or if you don't exist. I apologize if you don't exist, because that's sad for everybody. Yeah, Matt, give me your phone number. I'll give her a call from my, from me. Yeah, I'll just get rid of Matic in here. I don't think this is actually a trade. Oh, Matic is or Briarhorn is definitely nuts. Oh, aggressive. What, the, what is this thieving sprite in this, like, five-color deck? What is even happening right now? So this guy's going to be one, two, three, four, four. We don't... Actually, we could play Huntmaster and then trigger it next turn. I'm okay with that. Oh, what up, Granny? Good seeing you. Have a good time. <coughs> Whoa, this is aggressive. I'm going to take four here. I could care less about this attack. What I do care about is sending my boy on over. Dear God. Uh, and then just playing Changeling Titan here. This whenever you cast? Oh, yeah. Always yes. Why? I, I, don't, I can't imagine a time where you're like, oh, I don't think I'm going to make an elf. I think I counter it this time. Did I have broken ambitions and they just... It said waiting to cast. like Or it said, uh, you know, paying costs a second ago. So I don't know what's going on here. I think it's actually probably better to get rid of the Alpha Warrior. Sure. If you were racist towards elves, you wouldn't want to cast one. Well, you'd still cast it. You just wouldn't put the elf into play, right? Like, the casting isn't what you'd be... What you wouldn't... You know, do. You got it. Why don't you have trample? You big fat idiot.
Don't be rude. Wow. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fair. I just don't get racist is what I'm saying. Yeah, I can get I can get behind that. I don't get it either. Oh, that's rude. See, that's rude. Because I don't want to get rid of my Briar Horn. However, I am glad I played this guy. Because this guy's just going to get better over time. And we're just going to draw the 3-4 uh, the for 6. And we're just going to cast that guy. Well, that guy's actually fine. So you can't double you can't double lock either of these, which is just insane right now. And you almost have to jump, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not this is not gonna work the way you think it works. Well, this guy's not going to have any use, so I might as well put them to three. All right, well, your move. It's pretty rough. You're going to get the frosted coffee. Don't even act like you don't know what you're doing. I don't even know how that's a question. I would get the frosted lemonade. You, you're going to get the frosted coffee. That was a good choice. So the thing about this guy is if they single block it, we get to blow them out. And if they double block it, we get to eat two guys. So this guy's actually great. He's a 4-5 right now once we pump it. This Kithkin Daggerdale. Dagger Dasher. Dagger Dare. Dagger Dare. Hmm. That's fascinating. Matthew Ory, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. This guy on the side. So we just play this guy and like eat the death toucher. This guy's really good right now. Oh, them bouncing this is actually pretty strong. I think we actually just eat the death toucher. Death toucher just ate somebody. I think that's totally fine. Plus, now that they got rid of the 3-4 instead of the 3-3, as a 7-7, seven, seven, both of these being 7-7s, seven, sevens, we can kill both of these guys when they double block, so that's pretty good. Just don't play another Aether Snipe. Oh, Kith can dig Doug. My bad. My bad. That's my bad. Yeah, that's fine. That's a 1-1. One, one. There's a lot of black cards in their deck with literally no natural black sources. One of the floats had a bunch of people surrounded by a guy holding a shoebox shouting shoe, shoe sizes 
I said I walk over and shout my size 11 and a half. The guy handed me the shoe box there, Jordan's. Wait, what? You just got free shoes? Is that what you're saying? Pester might. Wow. What's even happening? This game is getting weird. Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> what? You're like, well, <clears throat> oh, that's good. That's nice. And we're still attacking with the 7 7. Because, I mean, like, there's no profit blocks here. Like, you either block with a 1 1, fine. You block with a 4 4 and a 3 3, fine. You block with a 4 4, a 1 1, and a 2 1, fine. Like, all of the trades are fine. Let's not forget to activate that during our upkeep. Man, they've been sitting at three life for a while now. Daniel, what's going on, buddy? Oh, look, they found a natural black source. Fashion related to the party. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So they don't have ten yet. Oh my god, seriously? Your last card's a second gutter snipe? I would actually not mind if they bounce the Titan because I would rather uh, eat this guy instead. And then we can either we can replay this and uh, still keep up a green. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, what is the BioVision goal? BioVision is going to come and join us for the 15 hour stream. So the goal is getting her flight. So it will be BioVisionary and Elk Tears. And also Rob and Mike, so it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty action packed for fifteen hours. So I blight's ending one time. Bogart loggers. Does that do anything here? I mean, forest walks pretty good when they're at three. So okay. I mean, they can flip this, which is unfortunate, but destroy a tree folk or a forest. This is neither. I don't think it's hacking, but they could just go 4-4 four, four and 4-4 four, four to block here. Yeah, that's not great. But then, they, then, like, they have really bad blocks against this guy. Then they have to throw, like, 3-3 three, three in front of this guy. They could just go 4-4 four, four and 3-3 three, three here and then chump here. I don't think that's terrible either, but I think we just win next turn. I believe we're going to start the stream at around noon. Oh, that's very good. Should have just played the swamp, I guess. I mean, if they don't top deck something, they're dead. Like, we have Boggart Loggers with uh, Kithkin Daggerdale, so. Shut up and take my money. Although they have less than a lot of Scarblade. They have to discard an elf card, though. They literally have to draw, discard an elf. Ten visionary bucks. Kerber, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, That is not an elf. Okay. So I think they're dead. That would be my assumption. Yep, this is actually this makes sense. We can we can we can see why this is happening. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, 
Subalba. <clears throat> All right. I was reading a message off screen. That had nothing to do with this game. Our deck seems pretty good. You should do a 15 hour stream from my place when you come out at night or something while I'm asleep. I think you'd actually like that less than you think you would. Yep, this hand's rough. I'm gonna mulligan this one land hand. Huh. Well, I guess that's as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna bottom this because I feel like in the next four turns, we should be able to hit one land. Our opponent's name is just Swill. That's pretty funny. The nice thing about the Lissalana Huntmaster and the Changeling Titan is that the Changeling Titan will trigger this, and then you can just you can just champion the elf. I was really hoping for a two drop there. It's really hoping for a three drop there. Should play the forest to pump tower bark. That's true. I should have. Wow, you're just evoking this guy. Sure. It's aggressive. I mold a five, and you're gonna evoke that guy on me. It's rude. Well, I would have rather got rather gotten rid of this than the thorn tooth witch for sure. Wow, that's messed up. That's pretty bad for us. No joke. Um, I don't actually want this anymore. We have fertile ground to get to five, and we also need a creature for this guy, so. Well, that's a little cutie, I guess. This is just rude. You're just being rude. Interesting. I'm back in the saddle again. I'll block and then I'll regenerate. I'll kill it in response. Well, that's up to you. Wow, you're going to weed strangle my friggin' changeling? This is all very strange. Um, yeah, I'll keep that guy on top. Four, six, or five. They've used two weed strangles. Could be good. Gonna do the cascade thing on MTG anytime? Is that is that a thing that's up right now? Because I'll do that next. That sounds like a blast. Wow, two matches in a row that I'm playing against Nath of the Guilt Leaf. Seems legit. I mean, I'm just going to attack here because if... Uh, maybe not. I, I want to be able to block, though. I really wish I had Changeling Titan in, in play. Cascade Constructed, so you build a Constructed deck, and then you, like... Yep, that sucks. It is it is a card at random though, so like we wouldn't be able to keep a land in hand and then just discard that, so it is what it is. Oh, 
draws are very good. I know no blocks. All right. Interesting. You put on the elf and not the land. Well, we're probably just dead to these guys, right? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, plus four, and this guy doesn't die to the end of the turn, so it's four. Uh, it's eleven. Yeah, that's that's all I need to see. When we molded five, and they make us discard two, and we actually they made us discard three cards this game when we molded five. Yeah, that's pretty rough. It's got the nettle vines for like loggers. Also, Hornet Harasser is not terrible against. Uh, What's it called? You know what I'm saying. Against 4-4 four, four, either snipes. Back to back Nath decks. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sand also mono mono four drops and a eye blights ending. Alright, well. That's good. Wow. Silver get laid up off of Ghostly Changeling, sure. Springleaf drum. What is even going on here? It's all, come on, land. Just one land, and we're we're in business. Yep, that's not the same. Okay. I don't even want to activate this because if we hit a land next turn, uh, if we activate it to find a land, we still can't cast a four drop. However, if we don't activate it and naturally hit a land, yeah, this is a fine block. I don't foresee us actually activating that anytime soon. Nicely done. I kind of like playing Marsh Flitter. They can pump this twice, making it a 4-4. If we play Bog Strider Ash, we get to actually next turn play Timber Protector if we get a land. Dawnless Starbark is also a 3-3, which would be a Four five five with indestructible. That's pretty good. I like Marsh Filler here because we do have makeshift mannequin to get it back, and that's a lot of tokens. One, two, three, four. You got it. I mean, if this is if this is what you're gonna use your turn on, I'm totally fine with that. Like we traded a March Flitter for a Ghostly Changeling, and they spent four mana, so that's just fine. Their deck seems very good. They have Nath and at least 
two of the five mana removal spell, which they're going to use right now. Yep. We're going to bottom this guy. What did they hit? A second silver gill adept? Wow. Well, that's pretty special. Um... Yep, discard you, and probably Eye Blight's ending. I like the Ash because it pumps this guy, and it's just a good blocker against the 3-4. And Makeshift Mannequin is obviously very good. I always draw a card after the fact that I would rather have discarded. Like, I'd rather discard this to, than Eye Blight's Ash, so... I don't feel like we're winning this game, unfortunately. It's just another Mornwell, because that's pretty brutal. Like you do. <laughs> oh boy. Mono Weed Strangles dot deck. I mean, they don't have any good attacks. We know one of their cards is Silver Gladap, so I guess that's fine. Three three or get something back. We could just get Dauntless Dower Bark back. Can they target our things with anything? Nothing that we can see. Is this what they put on top? Wow. See if we can get him with the Timber Protector. Interesting. This is not what I expected it to be. Why? 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 Why did we tap? Why did we make it a Plains? That's interesting. Got him. Am I going to do another draft? Maybe. Maybe. Just going to play the land. <laughs> it doesn't really hold. It doesn't do anything sitting in our hand. Yep. Is this set I started on? Yeah, Lorwyn's great, actually. I'm a big Lorwyn fan as well. So three, four, five, six. They could triple block here, and we get to kill the three, three, and the two, one. That actually seems okay. Especially because this guy's on borrowed time anyway, so. Like, anything that targets this guy kills him, so. Three, four, five. Yeah, sure. I mean, this basically traded. We traded a makeshift mannequin for a Mornwilk, a Silver Gladept, and another Mornwilk. Um, so it was a three for one, but the two Mornwilks got two cards, <laughs> and the Silver Gladept drew them a card. So it's actually really hard to figure out how that how that all came out. Kerwood, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your walk.
Yep. Well, I guess I'm glad we have Swamp Walk. Well, I'm guess I'm glad I guess I'm glad we have forests. We're not going to be blocking Nath, so I don't really feel like a need to uh, to hold back. Yeah. I mean, if we drew a spell there, any spell on our deck, we could have played it and not had to discard and not give them an elf, but, you know, that's not really how it works. Weed Strangle number three. Seems good. Oh god. This deck is very good. Alright, well, that's about the end of that. I don't really care to just play this and then... I mean, maybe one card we could have drawn that would have been good would be the, the seven drop. There it goes, okay. And then we draw Lignify. Yeah, sure, all those cards are fine, but... Their deck was very good. I don't foresee us winning that match. join this match. Oh yeah, this hand is fantastic. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, guys. When is he talking about this? You know, when I talk about things. This is what I mean. Chugrin, welcome back. 43 months in a row, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. 43 months. Good lord. Oh, second turn smoke breeder. That's not terrifying at all. Well. Alright. Let's see if we're dead. Oh god, we're really dead. That's a yikes for me, dog. If you just block this guy? Do we have a better out for that? I mean, like, we'd have to hit two lands for this guy, so that's not an option. Daggerdale is just a chump blocker. Bog Strider Ash doesn't do a deal with this guy. We don't have any elves. I think this is just a fine block. Okay, well, I want to wait for this because this is actually a pretty sweet uh, thing. Mike has had over a thousand birthdays in 43 months. That's true. Mike is one of the, the most ancient beings in the universe. I mean, if we can hit one more land, our future's looking bright. All right. I'll take four. Uh, 
Uh, Mountain versus Leaf Gilder. Do I keep the Leaf Gilder? I don't think so. We have Lissalana Huntmaster in the graveyard. And if we hit a land, it's fine. If we hit a 5 drop, it's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Up to two target creatures can't block. And this guy has haste two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. That's a that's a solid amount of damage. Well, I guess we're just priced into playing this guy. I guess we don't really have a choice here. Cannot attack either, because it's just mono red. I find Oh my god, dude. That Gary Jewell song. Actually, it's a Tears for Fear song, I guess. That Tears for Fear song is... Uh, okay, so just a literal 2-1 that you paid 4 for. Sounds good. We're forced to play all of our, uh, all of our tree folk before we play our Thorntooth Witch, which is just sad. The dreams in which I'm dying the best night I've ever had. It's a mad world. I think they're losing ground here. Until they play another one of these guys and just absolutely kill us, even though this guy's uncommon. That's a good one. That is what's known as a good one. Okay. Now we're set up for victory. So if they play another, if they play, what can they play here? If they get rid of one of our guys, right? And we attack, we have two blockers, we can go block, block, take one, two, three, four, five. They have two cards in hand. One of them would have to be the removal spell that we're talking about. I think we have to get in there right now. I think we have, it's like 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, so it either takes 7 or the, we eat a guy. I think either one is fine. Yeah, just eating this is fine because it's one less dude on board, so. Oh, wow, they're going to kill something. Oh, no, they're just actually um, triggering Needle Drop in order to draw a card. That's totally fine. Uh, yeah, these are phantom drafts. No one wants to keep a random doll. Okay, so wow, we just like, yep, that was good. That was good. Okay, so we're just going to actually bring in some cheap, some cheap cheeps. Don't care about Lignify here just because it's super, I mean, like, we're going to make like a 2-1 into a, bring in a Warren Scourge. Take out the Blight, bring in... Actually, this guy might just be better than the Nettlevine Blight to begin with. Actually, Hornet Harasser seems really good here as well. I don't think we care about Immaculate... Actually, Immaculate Magistrate just seems too good. We can take Mannequin out. Take out the Big Guardian, we'll bring in a bunch of cheap guys. Like, most of their guys were X1s or 2-2s. If I send you one thing right now, what would it, if I could send if I could send you one thing right now, what would it be? What does that mean? 
I mean, if you could send, I, I have no idea what that means. You could send me one thing right now. I have no idea. Oh, do we fertile ground? No, we're probably just going to play changeling here. Actually, if we fertile ground now, we can play changeling and regenerate it next turn. So I like that. Little changey boy. What would you want me to send me right now? Um. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, Kiss from Rose is actually pretty good. There used to be an Elkin Tower alone on the sea. Oh, this is an aggressive. And you became a block on the next side of me. I mean, if they have like a, a, a burn spell, it's actually pretty good. No, oh, they did not. Wow. Okay. This is an aggressive attack. I just get to eat your soul blight, soul bright flamekin. They might have needle drop, and then they can just play it afterwards. But actually, this has no damage because regeneration removes the damage from it. So that would be an interesting strategy, Cotton. Lash out. One, two, three, four. We actually have six mana, and we have things to do. So I'm actually going to put this on the top. Because next turn we can play Pilfers and get back the Changeling. Which also gives us haste, but I don't think we're a deck that really cares about the haste here. So, And then we can next turn we can play Thorntooth Witch and then have the Changeling in hand. So that's this is actually all... This is perfect. I didn't need an Angel, though. Uh, do we haste? No, we don't have to haste here. I'm probably just going to trade with this. Goblins on board have no uh, no real value for us, so... Oh, it's a 2-1, eh? Yeah, we're just going to take 2. Now we're going to attack because if they have, like, Glare Wielder, I guess they couldn't cast Glare Wielder, but either way, like, if they want to attack with both these guys to get damage in, I will easily block. Say hi to Danielle, aka Computer Magic. This is her first time watching you, and she's your newest, big, biggest fan. She's also an upcoming stream personality. I don't believe any of the things you're saying. Message me and, and, and show me a picture with you and Danielle, and then I'll believe you. Unless she lives in Canada, and I wouldn't know her. She doesn't go to this school. Yeah, we're definitely not blocking that guy. We've got a six here. That's pretty brutal. One, two, three, four, five. So now we can actually play War and Scourge.
Yep. That's a dude. So that guy's dead. So we're going to block two dudes. Or we're going to block one dude, kill the other dude. Yep, that seems fine. If you aren't going to talk, can you at least put the microphone up to your throat? What does that mean? I'm talking right now. Yep, resolves. Can't block, can't block. Is that true? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> okay, there were three haws and an it's true, so I feel like that's actually true now? This is awkward. I have no idea what's going on. See, Elk Tears is known to, uh, to be a bit of an embellisher. Uh, to be a bit of a a prankster, if you will. So, <laughs> oh god. All right. Well, What's going on here? Are you attacking? What's happening right now? Can we move this along? T -t Today, Junior! Okay, another one of these guys. Got it. Got it. Okay, so you're pumping, one dude is pumping the other. Okay. Got it. Oh, they just evoked this guy. Well, this is all very fascinating. Oh, and they just skipped their combat step as well. Okay, well, <laughs> this is all. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times, good times. Well, that went very well. I'm going to just throw my Glare Wilder and my Inner Flame Advocate away while I don't actually attack. That's a good that's a good option. I think that I think the beard is the first I think the beard is the first step. Can we... Oh my god, why is this... This is exhausting. I need a nap after this match. I still don't... Like, they just skipped their, uh, their combat step, right? They didn't, like... They didn't do anything wrong. They just didn't attack. This is a lot of blockers, so I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that this should uh hold them off efficiently. This is also three damage in the air, so it puts them at five, and uh, they have one, two, three, four, five block five attackers, and we can kill one of their guys. And all right, that's a little scary, just because I don't like that it exists. It puts us at a virtual three, and that's not cool. I'm just going to get rid of this guy. So if they block two biggest guys, they take one, two, three, four, five, six. They go to two. Hmm. No, sir, I don't like it. Yeah, we're just going to attack for three here. Two, three, black. 
All right, well. They should be dead next turn. Short of, like, some shenanigans. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to block here, block here. And then we're going to sack this guy so that they don't really have... Okay, cool. I guess we don't have to do anything. And that's how you do it. 2-1's pretty good. I accept a 2-1 since I haven't drafted this format in ages. If you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out the Patreon and Twitch links in the description below. If you want to head over to Twitch and sub, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free sub, and it definitely helps out the stream, even if you only watch on YouTube. Uh, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they are extremely soft uh, micromodal underwear. So be sure to check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.